We've been using non-contact thermometers for years, but mostly on the cooling and air conditioning side of the vehicle. For example, if you wanted to see if your thermostat was working, you could check the temperature of the thermostat housing, see if it's the same temperature of the thermostat opening, maybe to check the upper hose compared to the lower hose, see if the radiator efficiency is working, uh, check your, your AC ducts after you recharge the AC. So it has many uses. In fact, I used to use it a lot for misfire diagnosis too. Uh, just by checking the output of each exhaust port, you could see which cylinder is not firing. But I'll tell you what a really good thing to use it for is brake diagnostics. Let's say the customer came in and they were wearing the front brakes a lot quicker than the back brakes. Now, right away, you might blame, uh, well, there's a lot of things that be causing it, but I wanna know for sure if my back brakes were even working. So I could take the vehicle for a road test, uh, do a couple nice, easy stops, maybe from 40, 50 miles an hour, come to a stop, do that a couple times, and get out and immediately check the temperature of all the rotors. Now, now think about this. If the two front rotors were both, let's say, 400 degrees and the back rotor was 100 degrees that's telling me that that back rotors those back brakes are not probably working as well as they should be now you know we can also use it for diagnosing brake pulls let's say that the truck is pulling to the left pretty bad so right away we want to blame the left front caliper right well take it out do a couple tests do a couple stops get out and measure all four rotor temperatures you might be surprised the left rear rotor might be causing that that problem because that left rear caliper if it's staying locked up that left left rear rotor will be a lot hotter than the other ones that could be causing the truck to pivot causing that pull it's not always the front rotors causing a pull but this tool like this is is very invaluable really when you think about it even just checking normal operation of the brake pads getting out and seeing what actually they 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 actually under hard braking versus light braking maybe after you do your your burnishing test whatever it, it's really a handy tool